Hey guys, how's it going? Quick video, I'm not even going to edit this, so it may really suck. Um, but, uh, I, I've been playing with this uh, ESP8266 uh, microcontroller module that we were talking about in the last long boring video that I'm sure you didn't watch. And, um, I dug out my old... Uh, shitty RS-232 breadboard breakout board and um, this is actually a 3.3 volt module but I don't have any uh, max 3232 serial line level converters so that's actually just a regular old school max 232 designed for 5 volts but um, the, 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 the inputs on this thing are 5 volt tolerance apparently because it didn't blow up so that's working for the moment I've ordered a bunch of uh, uh, 3232 chips but they're shipping from China and they won't get here until like a month from now or something so this is working for the moment um, all these capacitors are required for the charge pump that generates the uh, positive and negative 12 volts RS-232 voltages in this chip um, the electrolytics on the power rails probably aren't necessary, but I put them on there just to try to uh, remove any sources of confusion. Um, one of the weird things I've found is um, I can't program this board while it's in the breadboard. Um, I have to unplug it from the breadboard. I assume I, it's one of these lines is doing something funny. Um, but yeah, maybe I guess it programs it over the serial port, so maybe we'll, maybe the USB to serial converter can't work while there's something actually attached to the serial port pins or something. I don't know. Anyway, so like I have to pull it out of the board to program it, and um, so it uh, it's running at 9600 baud, and uh, uh, we're, we're, we've got it plugged into the serial terminal here, the Zenith. And I, I don't have any hardware handshaking hooked up right now, um, but it seems to be working all right, uh, nonetheless. Um, I've just got it echoing back uh, characters that I type. Very silly stuff, but, um, and you can see that the LED is also blinking at the same time. Now, um, the reason that this is maybe not quite as unnoteworthy as it would be otherwise is that, um, You'll recall in the previous video I was talking about how I didn't think I could use free RTOS and the Arduino IDE at the same time on this thing. The 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 manufacturer's um, SDK for this thing is like all the documentation is in English, and it's confusing to me because I'm an idiot. Um, but I programmed this with Arduino, and it's not running free RTOS. Um, but I did uh, rig it up so that. Um, the LED flashing is actually running off of a hardware interrupt um, service routine on a timer. So um, that'll allow us to keep processing serial and Wi-Fi data while uh, a DCL interpreter on this thing is blocking for input. So um, yeah, I think I think we can do what we want to do here with this and do fun stuff. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all for now. Uh, I guess you probably want to see some source code, huh? So, yeah, there's, there's nothing really exciting about this. Um, we're defining this, uh, this interrupt handler function here, um, that just changes the status of the LED. And, um, it's running at uh, every uh, million, mi well, every second, and um, then uh, while that gets the hardware interrupt gets called every second, um, down here in the regular Arduino loop function, um, it does a blocking read. So um, I think uh, this is good. We can we can we can we can do this without running free RTOS and having to use um, an IDE that makes my small brain hurt. So um, yeah, cool. All right, see you next time. Maybe we'll have something a little more exciting next time.